Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with this uh, Naya Hyper Aggro deck. Uh, I'm calling it Hyper Aggro because it kind of, it's just a little insane. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed part one. If you didn't already watch it, I highly suggest you do. So you can kind of take a peek at the deck list, but also uh, get a feel for um, how this deck plays out. Not going to keep that. I will keep this. Uh, you can kind of get a feel for how the deck plays out. We, um, we had some good luck. Uh, we got all three wins. Really hoping we can do that again. Um, but either way, I think this is a really, really nice deck. It's a bit of an awkward hand uh, given that this is a tapped land. And unfortunately, that means we're not going to be able to turn one the Fervent Champion. But worse things have happened. I think turn two will probably go Arcanist and then be able to, to kind of drop the Fervent Champion and maybe a Giant Growth on the uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist really quickly. We'll see. Um, I think uh, pretty clear we need to put the Spellbreaker back. Uh, just because we're not anywhere close to that quite yet. And we've got plenty of other things to do uh, before we hit to three lands there. So perfectly fine throwing that one back. Uh, we do get to scry here, which is great. And I will keep a land. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I really do like this deck. Uh, again, check out that first video. But this deck is sweet. It does a lot. Um, don't love that I'm taking two here, but we will go ahead and play this out. If they attack in, we're not blocking. Very crucially, we will not block. Uh, if they have a shock, that's the way they're going to kill it. So It would be correct, I think, for them to attack, uh, given that they are mono-red. But we'll see. Oh, they're not. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Let's do this. Let's throw down the Fervent Champion. Um, and now we get to be the aggressors, which does not normally happen when you're against Mono Red, so I hope that this works out. Uh, should have actually done some stuff first here, but that's okay. We'll have them block uh, if they want to. If they don't, that's fine. Um, cool. Let's just do this. Might have been better to be a little more mana efficient, but that's okay. Um, and this was a bit of a misplay. I should have probably Giant Growth first. Uh, that is kind of the trick with Arcanist is that you can't do it after declaring attacks. Um, worth noting. But again, it's in our graveyard. We get to do it next time if they don't kill this in any way. Um, and again, we get to hit for a lot more damage just in general uh, than they will with their Scorch Spitters. Ah, cool. Flamespill. Skewer the Critics is very good as well, so they're about to deal with a lot of our stuff. Um, so this turn is the one to go for. Um, let's do that. Uh, this. Alright. Now we just have to hope to not die, is the key. Um, considering they're a burn deck, that's a possibility. Okay, they didn't go for a, a removal spell. A little surprising. Um, definitely thought they would. Now they are done for the turn? Um, I don't know that that was the correct play. I think they should have dealt with the Dreadhorde Arcanist. Would have put us in a much worse position. <laughs> but hey, you do you. Uh, we can giant growth this and give it trample. So, like, I'm in. Um... We also have Gruel Spellbreaker, which we get to throw out there and give haste, which is quite good. So let's do this. Let's give it haste. And let's attack in. Um, I'm just going to give it to this because it does have trample. They can eat this block here, but I think we're in pretty decent shape here. <clears throat> We do need to give it to the ones with Trample, not the Fervent Champion. Even if this means we lose the Fervent Champion, that's fine. <laughs> um, they do obviously have to block, so... There we go. Game one. Got the win. I love it. All right, let's move into game two. We are kicking butt with this Naya Aggro deck. Holy crap. Um, let's see if we can get all of the wins. Now that I said that, 100% we're going to lose this one, but that's okay. Uh, 
I'm just enjoying the deck, to be honest. Um, really excited, guys, for the JDC stuff. A lot of you have been, uh, a lot of you have been suggesting decks for us, which is so so exciting. It's great to see that. I think it's really fun to be able to to do things like a little bit more interactive uh, and working with you guys a little bit more. I, I just think that that's really really exciting. So this is a slow keep for sure, but that helps. Um, so I'm really, really excited for that. I think it's going to be a great time. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, I think that this is going to be a bit of its own entity and that we get to do a little bit more with it. We get to have a little bit more fun. Looks like, by the way, we're up against a very similar deck, which could be quite bad um, considering they got something down first, but we'll see. Um, I do really like having a bit more community interaction. I think that that's just so fun. Um, uh, no blocks. Definitely not blocking. Um, temple. Sure. I guess. Um, hmm. We're gonna do this, but chances are I think we do actually lose this game. Uh, we could be defensive, but I don't think we actually want to be. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight, nine. It's going to be actually kind of close. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Chances are they've got a lot more damage in hand, though. Um, yep, there's one. Um, only saving grace with this is that we do have trample like crazy on this guy. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, excuse me. Woo! Man, that was close. Um. Okay. Well. Do we just get there? <laughs> do we get there? I don't think we do, right? Maybe? No, we do. Oh, no, we don't, right? This has trample, yo. You gotta start blocking. <laughs> um, but we still lose, right? It doesn't really matter how it is. Wow, look at that glitch. That was exciting. So now we just lose, yeah. Okay. Well, well done, opponent. That was just an aggro match like crazy. Um, that was fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, they just had a quicker hand than us, really. There wasn't much else to it, but well done, opponent. Uh, let's jump into our last game. Uh, we are at almost eight minutes. That's pretty crazy um, that it <laughs> it goes this quickly with this deck. I think that's really cool, but uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can still get another win with this one. Either way, I think that that game was close. Ooh, excuse me. I just had to burp. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um... Uh, this is an amazing hand, but we'll keep it. It's perfectly fine. The fact that this has haste really makes it a lot better. Um, if this did not have haste, it would be much less of a keep. Uh, we'll just throw a Sacred Foundry out there. Um, Jeskai something or other. They're fetching now. Okay. Oh, a Fervent Champion. Well, that's not bad either. Uh, that just means next turn we can actually kind of double up on some stuff here. We could play 10th District Legionnaire plus Fervent Champion if we wanted to. Um, given this deck, Fight is One might actually be a really important card. Uh, if they have a Shatter the Sky, it's going to get around it, uh, which I think means we do kind of have to leave it up, uh, at least in some capacity here. So we'll do that. Narsa, that's fine. Um, I don't particularly care about Narsa. Um, that's slightly annoying, but not like... Sorry, I don't know that. Oh. Alexa, stop. <laughs> I, have a, I have one of those. I can't say her name. <laughs> um, slightly annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack in. We're gonna leave up the fight as one. I think that's correct. Uh, this is a pretty crucial turn if they do have the Shatter of the Sky, so... Um, we're gonna need to be very, very careful. It looks like they're digging for it, too. Oh, and they did get it! Wow, I am so glad that we did this, then. Um, 
Let's do this. Uh, we're only going to get to keep one of these, of course, but um, that's still better than nothing, and I'm very, very happy to do that. We also get to draw a card, um, since we haven't drawn one yet their turn, so that's perfectly fine. Um, ooh. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's... Hmm. Hmm, hmm. No. We're not going to do that. Uh, you notice we ignore the Planeswalkers pretty heavily uh, in this list. Um, yes, we'll keep you. Uh, I do think that that's generally correct. Um, there are certainly circumstances where that is not the case, but uh, given our current state of things, we're just trying to push through as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. And if that's going to help us do it, then that's what we're going to do. Uh, here, they're probably going to bounce this. That's completely fine. Don't really care, almost at all, because um, that takes up pretty much all of their turn, which is really important. And there we go. We did it. We didn't get uh, a perfect score by any means, but man, did we get close. Uh, wow, okay, so uh, that was very quick. Uh, and I, I mean, we expected that, it's a hyper aggro deck. But uh, to talk about this deck a little bit. So as I said in video one, uh, the important thing to kind of compare this to is, first of all, what is it for? And I think the the answer to that is definitely ladder grinding. We did three games in about 10 minutes, a um, little over, but about 10 minutes and we got three games in, which is pretty good in terms of just timing, uh, how long it took to do everything. Uh, as far as games that we won in all six, we won five. Pretty good as well. Um, so... The, the things that you look at when you're looking at ladder grinding are how easy is it for me to win, how consistent is the deck, and how quickly can the game end. Not necessarily how quickly can I win, how quickly can the game end. I think that is a very crucial distinction uh, because you don't want to get into a position whether where you don't know if you're going to win and then the game drags out for too long. I think this is a very clear deck whereas you know, you're know you either going to win or you're not in the first few turns and it's usually pretty straightforward. That's not always the case, obviously, so do keep that in mind, but uh, generally speaking, that's the case. As far as consistency goes, definitely going to be a little less consistent, I think, than the mono red list, only because the mono red list has a lot of redundancies built in, uh, and where this does have some of those, you will have hands where it's just really not very playable more often than not, I think, uh, against a mono red list, and so you're risking that. However, in, in the trade-off here, I think you're doing a lot more damage a lot quicker, uh, which I do think means you can have a lot faster of a game. Uh, in terms of how how easy is it to win, it's pretty straightforward. You just beat face, and that's it. Uh, and so it is actually very, very straightforward. You do have a little bit of flexibility with the fight as one you saw in that last game in particular. Very, very crucial to leave that up so we can continue the threat. Uh, if you don't get that left up uh, fight as one, I, I think a lot of times you, you shoot yourself in the foot. So I think it's very easy to say, let's push it all out there. But I think you have to rein yourself back a little bit. Make sure that, you know, knowing the deck you're against is crucial. So make sure that you're prepared. Overall, though, absolutely. If you're looking for a change out of the mono reb uh, and you're just looking to ladder up as quickly as you can, Try this deck. I think it's a very, very good one. A lot of the cards are not super expensive in terms of wild cards as well. I think that's really important. Uh, I'm I'm loving it. I, I think that this is potentially my new favorite just straight aggro list. I, I really, really enjoy this. I think it's fun. Um, definitely not the best deck in the world, but I do think it's fun. So do I, I do recommend it. Please do uh, check it out if you're interested in playing it. Um, make sure as well, again, to check out the JDC stuff in our Discord. The link is down below. You can check out our website and all that stuff as well. We should be releasing an article on the JDC uh, very, very soon. So if you're interested, uh, that'll hopefully explain things a little bit better for you guys. So uh, definitely a lot of things to check out, and I do hope you will. Uh, really, really looking forward to Corset 2021 dropping tomorrow on Arena. 
I am super, super looking forward to that. I'm hoping that we can get a good bit of gameplay in tomorrow. We'll see. We'll do the best we can. Of course, we'll do our minimum two uh, videos, but if we can do any more than that, I'm going to do the best I can to make that happen. So uh, I do appreciate all of you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this Acoria standard season. I know we're not moving out of Acoria necessarily, but uh, this is pretty cool to, uh, to move to a new set. So very excited about it. And thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you very soon. Uh, hopefully with some core 2021 gameplay in the next video. I'll see you guys then.